As part of the agreement, Iran promised to stop enriching uranium that could be used in nuclear weapons. In exchange, Tehran gained some sanctions relief, an economic lifeline for ordinary Iranians. But now, in light of new U.S. sanctions targeting its ballistic missile program, Iran is threatening to ditch the deal and restart its nuclear weapons program. We are capable of surprising them if we want to, and it will be on them. However, we do not want to see such a day. But the Iranian threat isn't the first challenge. Even before he became the U.S. president, Donald Trump said the deal was bad for the international community and should be either abandoned or renegotiated. None of this reassures U.N. diplomats who endorsed it. For the Secretary General, the, the so-called uh, Iran nuclear deal is one of the most important uh, diplomatic achievements in our search for, uh, for peace and stability. And I think it's uh, everyone involved needs to do its utmost uh, to protect and support that agreement. And the other countries who negotiated the nuclear agreement, the UK, Russia, China, and the EU, see it as essential to promoting international peace and security. Analysts see the rhetoric from both the U.S. and Iran as more posturing than possibility. I don't think Iran is going to leave the nuclear agreement because it is basically to its advantage. It received a great deal of money and it doesn't want to have uh, oil sanctions reimposed on it. This is basically a reaction to uh, President Trump's comments about possibly uh, not certifying Iran or doing something about the agreements. The Iranian threat comes as the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. travels to Vienna to meet with the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Nikki Haley has questioned whether Iran is in fact holding up its end of the deal, but a spokesperson for the U.S. mission says this trip is a fact-finding one, no prejudgments. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.